Okay. I, I mean, yeah. Do you like the way that looks? Um, it still yeah. feels like a straight line. Yeah, but we're gonna break that line up with the flowers and stuff. But I think that looks good. And then okay. you could you could add a little bit underneath her chin. Like, do you see even on my face the way this is lit right here? Darker. Okay. Yeah, if you want to put a little bit of darkness to kind of like make her face pop forward, you can put a little bit of that graphite gray under her chin line. And then you can also use it um, on her eye. On her eye. Okay. If you have white on her eye, if you want to do like, you could literally, if you if you use it like you're spotting, right? So it's like, if she has white on her eye, you want to make that dark, use a tiny bit of that graphite gray to kind of redraw her eye. Whoa, I can't believe I did. <laughs> okay. And yeah. it's not permanent. Don't be afraid. Like if you want to take off the pigment stick, you can. You can literally. Yeah. Look. No, I think it's okay now. Okay. So this is her other side. Okay, so yeah, did you put the you put the gray on the other side? So same uh -huh. thing, blend it in, just go around it. It looks pretty good on that I side. Did. Yeah. Yeah, it looks great. It looks great. Okay. Okay, now if you see anywhere else that you want to make darker, like her neck or any of the darker flowers outside, you can go ahead and add the graphite gray now. So that would be like, like under the white flower here or, oh wait, here, I'll show you. So like, if you wanted to make this darker gray. Where I can't see. Oh, I see. Wait, hang on. So now for me in Photoshop, what I can do is I can go, do you see how I'm making this darker? Yes. So you could put a little bit, do you see where I'm anywhere just you, so there's detail, right? Shad, like anywhere that you see darkness. And look, did you see how I put a little bit on this inside center of the flowers? Yes. yes. Also like under her neck over here, yes. down here, over here, up here, right? Those are all spots that could be a little bit of graphite gray. Okay. Right? And so what's gonna happen also, this purple flower or thing here, too. Oh, that's the leaf, right? Yeah, so a little bit of graphite gray there. Right? So there's like the graphite gray is a really good way to sort of re establish the lights and darks in the picture. Okay, yeah. Okay. And then once you have the graphite gray, in its spot, now we can, then we can start adding color and lightness because okay. we've kind of done some grounding work and we have the darkness there. Yeah, it's making a difference, these little darker areas. Right, because it's creating contrast. Yes, yeah. And it like what the wax, the wax does is it kind of makes everything feel the same, like flat, it flattens it. Right. And so what you're doing by adding the, um, the gray is you're sort of pushing out of that flatness and bringing the contrast back. Giving it some dimension. Right, and then we're gonna give it some pop when we add those nice colors that you picked out, like a little bit of that red or that, if you make okay. it a nice pink, right? You can add I'm a little bit of- to, yes.
So you always like start with the darker tones. Well, you're right. I always establish the shadows first because then I can paint from dark to light. Uh -huh. If you put the light on first and then you try to put the dark on, it's just going to lose. Yeah. It's going to lose it. It's going to like, yeah, wipe it all. Yeah, you're going to, you'll wipe it all off. It, you just kind of need to go from dark to light. Okay, let me turn this off. I don't know if you could see. Yeah, that, oh my gosh, that looks so beautiful. It's really starting to feel, oh my God, yeah, it looks so great. I mean, it okay. just sort of defines her whole hair absolutely. and her face. Yeah, yeah, it's gorgeous, it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so let's spend a few minutes, let's go over a few and minutes. Let me ask you, do you have half hour more and then I'll- Yeah, that's fine, let's do it, yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. Because I was aware we were like right off the clock. Oh, no, you're so nice. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I felt like we got a bumpy start anyway. No, it's fine. So let's go ahead and start making, let's make some pretty colors with your little mixtures over there. Okay. So just have fun and blend like a little bit of red into the yellow or like, yeah, just see what, I, I love the, all of those colors together. And then from that color, you can add a little bit of brown. And maybe a little white. Oh, I do. Yep, add your white. Yep, add your white. Yeah. I don't and think I put enough pigment. Okay, and my yellow. Yeah, you want to have enough there that you can mix, you know. Right. I didn't have enough, so. So I'm using my finger. And yep, use your finger. And the reason, so you could wear gloves if you want. The reason that I like to use my finger is I like to actually feel the texture of the wax underneath my fingertip. I like to make that contact with the wax. I want to feel where it's raised and where it's lower. I want to feel right. where the cracks are because what's going to happen is you basically have a solid, you have a solid textured surface. And then what happens with the, the pigment is that it's going to like go into the lines. Mm -hmm. And I right? want to feel those. I want to feel those and I want to push it into the lines. And then maybe I want to add more paint on top. But first, I'm going to establish kind of like a, a background or a okay. base. So, so I love that color. I love the color that you made. It's beautiful. OK. And I would take that color and I would start putting it on the peachy flowers. Right, because they're already sort of peachy color. And when you're painting a flower, just remember that when you're actually looking at a flower in the in real life, like in nature, uh -huh. it's never all one color, right? right. So, so even if okay, the, yeah, even if the flower is orange, it's going to be like lighter on. Yeah, exactly. So use right. So once you put the peach on there use the red and the yellow to represent the darker and lighter tones of that color. And you might have to use maybe a little bit of white in the yellow or white and yellow together. Okay. And this is not, do not feel like, I, I've never really, you know, I paint flowers very, um gently like i never try with the pigment sticks to like literally paint the flower i just try to like use my finger and put color in where i think that there's content so i'm not trying to be exact right i'm trying to be suggest suggesting is that too exact um, it's a it good, it's a good start. No, leave that there. I think it's fine, but use a little bit of the other colors, like the red or the yellow and just do little, like little it splashes. Like I was yeah, little, no, I think that's fine. And now accentuate it with the red or the yellow. You want to start to feel like that flower has highlights and shadows and has petals that are kind of moving. 
you want to you can barely tell it's a flower maybe right or that right or it's like a yeah like a memory of a flower and i think that because the underneath is coming through mm -hmm. Points. So something that helps me with the flowers too is creating like a center. Yeah, that looks nice. The yellow looks really good. Yeah, a center. So the center can either be brown or brown and red mixed together, but put something dark in the center, which helps like, I always think it helps me kind of organize myself of where the flower actually is. Now these two are like, you're, you're, you're the artist. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. I would put something else a little bit redder in there. So maybe if you determine that the light is coming from one side, put right. the red on the darker side. So if the light is coming from the top of the panel, put the red on underneath side of the petals, right? Or at the bottom, does that make sense? Right. So you want to stay true to where your light's coming from, just as if you were like taking a picture, the light's going to be directional. So this is darker here, right? Yeah, underneath would be darker. Yeah, that looks good. I love it. Okay, good. So let's do another flower. And so do all the flowers in that color palette. Okay. So that's all the flowers that you did peach with the wax. You're going to do like these peachy ready colors. And so uh, if I pick a color for the wax paint, I usually pick like similar colors for the pigment sticks. Similar ideas. Okay. Right. So colors from the same family and maybe just lighter or darker. Uh And then if you have a flower that's closer to a darker area in the picture, you can uh -huh. use more red. I mean, just use oh, right. more, more red and maybe mix the red even with brown. So you can use that same color palette, but you can use it in a darker tone by adding more brown. Yeah, beautiful. You can I even, do. beautiful. So I have to work on this now more. Yeah, beautiful. I still think that one at the top could have a little splash of red somewhere. Like, uh -huh. yeah, like a, just take your finger, put like one red something, don't blend and don't blend it. Just let don't the red blend. be red. Yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. Let the red just be okay. red. Because now what's happening is you're integrating all those colors together. So if you just have a splash of the color, it's okay because it's in the other colors. So it's just gonna have an accent. Yeah, so even though I'm trying to make it not appear like a, perfect flower petal but have that color in there yeah because that's natural okay. that's the way that's the way our eye captures light and that we see light and it's moving around and then the flowers are moving okay and then if you're in an area of the of the art piece that looks like it has a darker tone or there's like it's more close to her hair or a shadow area you can add graphite gray to the yellow and I mean, you can like a tiny bit will, you can add the brown, you can use any of those darker colors to um, represent, you know, shadow darker. of the same colored flower. Yeah, this flower is a little tough, but. 
Well, remember if it's half a flower, let it be half a flower. You don't have to, you don't have to, if it got messed up in the scraping, let it be messed up. Let it be, you know, a torn flower, a broken flower. It's okay. You know, you don't have to bring them back to perfection. Okay. Because that's not what this art is about. This art is about imperfection and beauty. So beauty, you know, where you have it. Nice. I would make one side of that a little bit darker red or ready brown. I'll try to do this darker red. So, so, so when you have um, a stencil that has like a ramp, like a, a yeah. Ramp, go yeah. take your finger with the red and just go along that line or something. Oh, okay. Or so you can get. It, I think you can trick the stencil to capture the red by having a little edge there. And it's kind of like, when, have you ever rimmed a glass with like sugar? It's kind of like uh -huh. going along that outside line and like adding something to it. it and you kind of feel the shape, let the shape of the flower take that outline. It's, is it working? Not working, but. That's all right, whatever's happening. I tried to do it, but it's. Yeah, not. that looks nice. There's a tonal range there. Okay, so maybe for that one, add like a little bit of a lighter color to make that red, add a little, like a dot of a highlight somewhere on the upper part of that flower. Yep, and that'll also, if you add something lighter, that'll make the dark look perfect, yep. So that by adding something light, that also emphasized that darker part being darker, right? Okay, yeah. all right, so let's, is there no more peach flowers on that side? There are, there Okay, are. so keep going. So I just did this yeah, one. Perfect. But then yep. there's also this that has okay. different colors. Yeah, I don't so, so look at that one for a second. Do you see where the gray goes over top of it? Yes. Just paint like that gray is the top layer. So just put a okay. little bit of color. I kind of even like it the way it is. I love mm -hmm. that the gray is over. I mean, you could add a little bit peachy color to it just to brighten it up. But to the where it yeah, is already yeah, just the little spots that are coming don't feel like you have to over paint it just pop a little two little three little dots in there that's all you need you know what i think part of this art yeah perfect part of this art is i think inspiring people to use their imaginations along with you you know it's like you don't want to over illustrate it you want people to yeah. look at it and sort of like fill in the blanks right. for themselves and right. that's where the beauty happens right i think that's looking great let's try to so let's finish with that color is there anywhere else on that side well, i mean this white one has a little peach here i don't know where that came from but okay. so you can add a little bit of that color in there but I want you to use like 50% extender. So if you want to make it lighter, if you want to make it lighter, you can use, so you don't have to physically make the color lighter with white. Yeah, you can make the color lighter by making it more transparent by adding the extender. Right. So it's like controlling the opacity. Perfect. Yep. At, yep. So mostly, and these pigments are strong, like the encaustics. So don't be yeah. afraid to use a lot of extender. Okay. And it will dry. I promise it will dry. Okay. Probably in a couple of days, but it will dry. I think that looks nice. You could add a little bit more. It looks beautiful. I mean, I'm looking at it from far away. I think it's beautiful. No, I think it's beautiful. So what about this other space right here, mid panel? I think you should add a little bit of peach there too. Where? Right, put your finger on the, there's, nope, to, over to the edge, in the middle of the edge. Nope, to the left. No, 
Here, I'll show uh, here. here, right there, right there, right under yeah. there, right under there. Add a little peach. There's like a flower there. Uh, here, this oh, flower. Lower, lower, lower. This? Right there, yeah. There's like a little flower there. Add a little peach there. Not any shape, just a little. No, just a little bit of accent color. Just, right, and that's where you're suggesting. Yeah, beautiful, perfect, beautiful. Okay. Right? So you're just dancing around with color. You're not over-illustrating. You're just trying to tell a story. And okay. then this other guy. You need to, I... yep, something, you need something else, Peach. You need something there, and then you need something also flowing out along the edge. Like here? You have something, uh, yep something over there or around that white flower or okay. a little peach flower you need something else peach over there you're doing such a great job tonight really i this is the fun part. i always think this is the really fun part yeah i, mean, I like painting with the it. wax i like painting with the wax but i often find it like very kind of intimidating and yeah. i think that painting with the pigment sticks are my favorite because i love mixing those colors yeah if you yeah and i love how you're using um you're really understanding and using the extender as a way of lightening the intensity of the color, right? Okay, yes. And this is really up to you. So it's you not a real flower. I don't that's know. Okay. No, that's okay. Yeah, let it be there. We can fix it later. Yep. Now you have to decide what color are the white flowers going to be. Are they going to be white? Are they going to be like light yellow? Are they going to be purple? Maybe white. They can be okay. white, but then they're yeah. going to need a they're going to need a secondary color, and the secondary color could be gray. Okay, so uh, white and gray. Do you think I need any more peach down here or is it good? I would, if I was gonna add more peach, I would probably add it over here along the edge a little bit more. Where? Like I yeah. see a flower, hang on, let me show you the screen share, hang on. I see a flower, I'm gonna make this a little bit lighter. Your piece is so much lighter, hold on. I'm just gonna make this lighter and more contrasty. So let me see. Like you have your white flower here. Like uh -huh. I think you could put a little peach like around the outside of this white okay. flower. Okay. Like there's one, do you see how like there's one and it will just make this white flower pop forward more. I see. Okay, that makes see sense. See what I mean? And then yes. you have this one up here. And you did this one. I'm trying to keep up with you here. I don't know. Did I screw up? Let me say, no, absolutely not. I think that's really beautiful. Nope. So that's, that's, I think that's really nice. So compositionally it's atmospheric and it's beautiful. And now it makes that white flower so much more interesting. Okay. You know, it just really, it gave you a lot. It kind of just I think I went over the white flower. So I have to maybe clean that up a little bit. Or you could just take white and put it right over top of I'll it. Put it over, yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, and then you said some graphite gray. 
Um, okay, yeah, you're gonna start working on the white flowers. Yeah. Okay, so if you want to work on the white flowers, mix make a mix white and gray. Make a like a mid tone in between the gray and the white. And if you want, you can add a little um, color accent. You could add yellow to that, which could be nice. Okay. If you want a little like, so I think that light is. So you're saying like this white flower. I did white. So mm -hmm. add to it some gray, right? Add to it that in that white and gray that you made, not mm -hmm. dark gray. You don't want to make it too dark right. too fast, but add like a mid tone. And then you can also add some white on there. If you want, add like a tiny little bit of yellow. I added a black. That looks great. I whatever you just did looks great. Okay. I think it looks beautiful. Add a little yellow, like a little little warmth too. You don't want that flower because you added the peach. I don't think you want anything like totally cold toned. So just add like a drop of yellow just to warm it up, make it friendly. <laughs> yeah. I like yellow and gray together as a color combo too. Yeah, it's nice. Yep, beautiful. Okay, so do the other one. Now these white and gray and slightly yellow flowers can also be like anywhere on the piece, even where you don't have a stencil. Okay. So anywhere that you feel like painting a little flower or adding a couple little dots of color, that's just gonna suggest that there's flowers there. Yeah, you know, I don't like the this stencil that I did here. I have the same one here, and it's giving me a hard time. You just don't like the stencil? Well, because I can't tell the petals. It's oh all... right, because because we talked about that, right? It's an outline stencil. It's not a solid yeah. stencil. Yeah. Um. So. So you can, if you don't like it anymore you could scrape it off and put another flower there or you can literally just kind of like leave it there but if you just put a little bit of gray over it you can just subdue it yeah I don't know what it is. It just looks so pretty. I really like it. Oh my gosh, it's looking I don't, so pretty. I just, just let it, it's fine. Let it, it looks okay. so pretty. I mean, this piece is just beautiful. I'm just oh. really loving it. If you want to get rid of that flower at the bottom a little bit, just put some gr graphite gray over it. You can just make it blend into the background, right? So you've got oh. all of her hair. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've got all of her hair technically flowing on that side. If you just like, you could just make it go back. If you don't love the shape of it, you could just you make it here. Just have the graph. No, you were talking thing. about the other flower. I think you were talking about, you were talking about um, oh, this one. Yeah. So if you want that one to disappear a little bit, just put her hair over it. Yeah. Just paint it. Yeah. There you go. Now it's under her hair. Yeah. Let it. Uh, yep. Exactly. Just let it be there. It's fine. It doesn't bother me. Okay. I like it. And now it's kind of like hidden in her hair. Okay. So sometimes you have to like look at these decisions as like problem solving. Like what's the simplest, easiest way to get it to look better without causing yourself too much stress or hurting the other parts of the piece that are good, right? But it doesn't have to be the end product at this stage. It just keeps... It keeps evolving, right? Right. Evolving. Right. Did we say the purple was going to be brown? Well, the purple, so you have to make a decision. The purple represents some type of foliage or leaf. Technically, it could be a greeny brown. It could be blue brown. I mean, they're your leaf. Greeny brown. Okay, so use your, if you have Turkish green umber or 
green gold. Yeah, it's Turkish greenish umber. Perfect. Is so that, that a yeah, that's a great color. Okay. Oops. Okay, so I mix that with the with this maybe. I would mix, mix the green and the brown, maybe mix the green and the brown together and then see what happens if you add a little white to it. You could also warm it up a little bit by adding some yellow to it. Greens are funny, like they, they can really go, greens can go more yellow, more brown, more blue. Like there's a lot, green. that's why greens are hard because they are complicated, not because they're bad. But I heard there were more shades of green than any other color. Well, I don't know. There's 99 shades of gray, but there could be, there could be, yeah, well, because you, right, because you've got yellow, green, blue, green, brown, green. I mean, yeah, you could, go, and then you can go light to dark. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of greens. Yes. Yeah, there's more shades of green, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. I always thought I've always been uh, focused on black, like gray tones have been my priority. So green, I'm just starting to really get to know green. Green's hard. Starting to what? I'm just trying to get to know green. I'm trying oh. to understand green. And this year, like, uh, or last year, I guess really, I started to like, um, like chartreuse and really more oh. vi vibrant greens a little bit. Um, they're, they're fun. Yeah, they're very fun. They're, they're like green. little, little, they're like little lightning bugs. They're cute. It's it, it's happy color. Like look at your. What you have, I ended up doing, I realized I couldn't make a flower. Oh, it was a leaf, right? It's a leaf. Yeah, they're not making a flower. You just no, and that looks beautiful. So just pop that green around anywhere you see anything, floor like leafy or outside and around the outside of a flower because every flower technically has green around it green. Yeah. Okay. and that can be like your fill-in blendy color i hope you're happy with this piece it's really looking beautiful I am, and you know, I just feel like, well, yeah. And what I would suggest is hang it up um, somewhere in your house or in your kitchen or by your bed, hang it or put it somewhere where you can look at it every day. Really? Yeah, because if you just look at it in your studio, you're gonna be too, you're going to be have like you're going to be too critical you got to like integrate it into your life so you can look at it at different times and different lighting like just put it on a bookcase or something it's like i try to hide it no don't hide it put it out there for people to see and you need to look at it and accept it and and love it and figure out what it is you would change you know let it talk to you at different times of your day interesting because if you're only looking at it when you're in the mood to work on it you're gonna you're gonna, gonna be different yeah, it's a narrow perspective well it's a just it's a it's a scope it's like looking at it under a microscope it's a it's a lens it's a filter you're looking at it under yes you know hmm. let's see them together i'm gonna take one final picture put the other one too and i think we should end for today let me take here